Swarm.js is a web-based multi-robot simulator developed to prototype, benchmark, and showcase robot control algorithms. In comparison to other simulators, Swarm.js requires no installation or sign-up process. It allows you to simulate mobile robots in planar environments, which is useful for studying problems involving aggregation, as shown here, pheromones, or collision avoidance. The focus on two-dimensional environments is in keeping with the idea of maximizing usability. Two-dimensional physics and rendering require much less computing power than tackling these aspects in three dimensions. Also, Swarm.js is interactive. Some of the main features of Swarm.js include the ability to change the current scene, reset the simulation, pause and unpause the simulation. The gear icon brings up a wider set of configuration options. Here we can adjust the number of steps between renders. This is very handy if you want to see the long-term behavior of the simulation if it runs quicker than real time. We can also control which aspects of the simulation are rendered, such as the sensors or the robots themselves. The controller tab allows users to edit code directly in the browser. This top section shows the code executed upon initialization of each robot. The bottom section shows the code executed on each time step. Notice that these robots cluster the pucks, but often become clustered themselves, which could be problematic in the real world. I'll address this by having the robot slow down whenever a robot is detected ahead. And we can see this really seemed to help. 